one live what's going on everybody we hanging out with the goats today the babies and the mama is uh right behind us right now icy's actually smelling the the phone um excuse me we're in the middle of the live icy <laughs> we're gonna get a close-up of icy's butt oh man <laughs> I see. What's going on, guys? Chief, do not end the live, brother. Chief, Chief what are you doing, bro? <laughs> I haven't seen it start on mine yet. Just waiting for come on home. Sir. Let me go double check. Oh, we might not be in the. Oh, we engine. never put ourselves in the chat. I see what you're saying. Oh, I see it. We're live. Yeah, I see you. Here yeah, we go. It's not showing over here. I'm seeing it right here. Yeah, I see you. Oh, there it is. We got a delay, I guess. Right here. Can you hear us fine? Oh, see us fine? All of that? Can you hear us fine? This is going to be an interesting one, guys. The goats are very curious. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Happy Monday, everybody. What's up, Chief? Come give me some love, Chief, man. Happy Monday, everybody. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. This is interesting. I hope everybody can see us, and uh, other than Chief's big old head. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a wonderful Monday. Uh, Dirtam says yes, loud and clear. Uh, SKW lifts, what's up? Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna have a camera down before this is over with. What's going on, Cranny? Liam, what's going on, brother? Crazy oh, John. There's the mama. Levi's in here. Life with Levi. What's up, Levi? What's going on, son? Uh oh, the baby. Come on, baby. Uh oh, we might have a baby in her. This we got one back there jumping. West House, what's going on? <laughs> hey, there's Tim with Ridge Life. What's up, brother? Look at little guy. We're we're action packed tonight, guys. I got a plan. Uh oh. Hey guys. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. White Rock Homestead, Goat Life. That's right. What's up, guys? Jason and Tara, our friends, White Rock Homestead. Brian Wilkerson, what's going on? I'm chatting uh, today, guys. It's uh, my first time in the chat as Dreaming with Drifters. Nice. I'm going to drop a couple emojis so you guys can see me in there. There's me dreaming with drifters. Lumpy Burke, what's going on? Oh, nice. Oh. Dana Mason, hello. Chief, don't turn that camera off. Chief, I just... Oh, no, oh, no. Chief. Oh, Chief. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Chief. Why'd you guys do that? Why'd you guys do that? Funny. Chief wasn't with that. <laughs> Look, Chief's coming to get my chair. That's funny. And there's our friend Don Hat Creek Homestead. What's up, Chief? Chief. Be a good boy. <laughs> Chief, Chief, gonna be here. <laughs> Chief ain't with it, guys. Chief. Chief thinks the camera is challenging him, and he is not with no. it. No. Auntie Ann, what's going on? She said, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Anona Milton, what's going on? Yeah, Chief down on the mountain. She's going to do it again. Oh, Chief. Chief to travel. No. Oh, it's a battle of the Chiefs. <laughs> I have to start talking goat and be like, Rrr. Chief does not want to share his baby, said Julie Hellman. <laughs> He's going straight for the camera. Yeah. Pearly May said she's driving but listening. What's going on, Pearly? Chief. Chief. Leave the camera alone, son. So Chief's going to be the one tonight, I guess. 
too. <laughs> well, you don't know until you try. That's right. Y'all are a tad fuzzy on my end. I can hear yes just fine. Brown Wilkerson, what's going on? Uh, let's Goob see here. Gooby to dooby doo. I'm seeing all the members showing up all those emojis. I created, like, there's 15 emojis now. While Tim was here, uh, we went ahead and uh, created some. I think they turned out really good. Andy Social said, I should give Chief a headbutt. Although a lot of them still got white backgrounds, which they shouldn't. Chief. No, Chief. I'm going to give you a headbutt, Chief. <laughs> Chief's being hard headed. I'm going to need to grab the hard hat to give Chief a headbutt because even my hard hat ain't got nothing on them horns. Chief, just come over here and get some groceries, man. Calm down. Settle down. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. And Nona said, and there you were thinking that Coco was the troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at Icy. Look at Icy. Icy's right behind you guys. Like, sniffing. Oh, come on around, Icy. Oh, yeah. Everybody got to smell the phone as they walk by. Yep. And now you're about to see some goat butt. <laughs> some goat booty. Hey! Some goat booty. <laughs> Big wave. What's going on, brother? That's funny. Sitting here looking at goat butt. Uh, when I was in grade school, I had to talk to the zoo and bent over and the kids. Oh, chief. Chief, buddy. You're starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, Auntie Anne was like, whoa, goat butt up close. Look here, buddy. Oh, look at the little one. Dancing. What do you got? <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Uh, building with Keith and Mickey. What's up, guys? Go to camera zero. Yep. <clears throat> That's okay. I got it in my hand now. Everybody's like, goat nuggets. <laughs> Look, he's coming back to get some more. Come get it, Chief. <clears throat> I'm going to put the phone beside me for a little while. David Moffat, what's going on, brother? You hear that donkey back there? Yeah. Probably protected. Life with Levi. Levi, this is a funny show tonight, ain't it, brother? Strap it to the tree, said Kathleen McGinley. Yeah, if I had the right setup, I would, but I don't. That's right, Levi. You cannot predict nature. But we could talk to them, and they could look at the goats. Glenn and Shannon, Salty Life. How's it going? Ugh. <coughs> uh. Careful what you ask for. Chief just might try and get it in your hands, said Auntie Ann. <laughs> I'm not scared of Chief. I'm not scared of you, boy. Top ram around here. Auntie Ann said, oh, I see a baby bouncing in the background. David Glunt said, I wouldn't be able to get anything done if I had baby goats. I'd be spend all day playing with them. They are fun, man. They got... Crazy personalities. Uh, when Carl Den, uh, Denardo said, when the tree was have a drifter down. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. If you actually watched that episode of Dreaming with Drifters, I got the camera in my hand when the tree came down almost on top of me. Bless you. What uh, breed of goat is chief? Chief is a Kiko boar mix. So, Pat Gary, uh, that's a Kiko boar mix. Oof. Chanel just hit Icy with a piece. Red81 Camaro said, I just put a short of our baby hopping around on my channel. Nice. Uh, Neil, I won't be naming the babies. Uh, 
Actually, the male is going to go to Country Road Cure, and the female is going to go to Simple Life Reclaim. So they'll be the one naming them. The Flash One. Hi, Dave and Mike. Coming from London, UK. What's going on? Love you, brothers. It's always hard to get alive because of the time difference, but love your content every time. Come on. I appreciate it. Come on. Hello, Anona. How are you? Julie. Slapping all those emojis in there. Yeah, some of them, Domino don't have a white background. The grill don't. The heat rises don't. The cabin don't. And I don't. So, and it, the jug, you can barely see. Yeah. The jug is the one you need the white background for. Yeah. Shannon. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Sharon Reyes. First live. Nice. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, Sharon. Well, you picked a good one because it's all about cuteness. Even you. Yeah, even you. Jacques Lovstrom, hello, dear. See the babies back there resting? Hanging out like a hair in a biscuit. Hanging out like a hair in a biscuit. We got old uh, Nubbin hanging out with us. Gang, gang. Oh. Somehow, Chieftain highlighted somebody. I see you live, people. <laughs> David Moffat said, I can't share the emojis, just the words. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, that's weird. Natasha Lynn said, I'm late, but there's 444 here and 152 likes. Let's go. Let's go. Tighten up. We can do better than that. For uh, all this cuteness. Neil said, any baby bunny updates? Uh, Tomorrow. Supposed to be born tomorrow. Dang. Come on, homesteading is the best channel on YouTube. Thanks, Levi. Well, thanks. But the only one close, come on, keeping it real. You know, I'm going to have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are the ones with the white background the old ones? No. Nope. Pam Sheldon said, "Mike, I saw you go down today." Yeah, Pam, that was a that was an interesting uh, fall right there. Some of the ones with the white backgrounds are uh, old ones, but some of the new ones are too. I blame Tim. Our friend Rochelle, uh, Del, 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 Del Nancy, sorry if I messed up your name, said, "All the way from the Bahamas." Congratulations to the babies hanging on the mountain. Dave and Mike, love y'all guys. Keep up the good work. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. How's the weather? The weather was beautiful today. Beautiful. And we're about to have a beautiful sunset. Uh, let's see here. With the only Oh, yep. It didn't jump backwards on me. Yeah. Has she pulled a lot of fur? Uh, not a lot, but some. And she's arranged her uh, her little nesting box that I built. SKW Left said, who's excited for the meetup? I know I am. I know I am. I am pumped up. You know, I've already given out about 20 of the of those flyers. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, every business I come across, I talk to about. Oh, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Tim, you're so funny. He said, which one of these three old goats is David? <laughs> you're the old goat that's got a broke down knee, leg, and all kinds of other stuff. You know, can't even ride a four-wheeler without hurting yourself. Man. Susie Jacobson, hello, dear. Hello. It looks like Nana's in the house. What's going on, Mom? Hey, Nana. Any plans to make cheese with the goat milk and all that? Uh, no, not right now. Eventually, once I get a milking thing set up and get their pen established and all of that, then yes. But right now, you got to be very consistent daily on that, and I'm just not set up for it. I did have to milk uh, Chanel quite a bit for about three days because the babies were only uh, using one of her teats, and uh, the other one was getting real swolled up, and the bag was real tight. So I was having to milk her about three times a day just to loosen it up. And I believe I won because it's back to normal now. Nice. So 
Uh, is your chicken still in broody? I had one start sitting today. Yeah, I got one about on 30 eggs right now. They, oh, she just wow. keeps pulling more and more eggs over there. Someone asked, uh, is Icy able to get pregnant? Yes. So is Coco if she's ever in the pen. <laughs> yeah, Coco might have a chance to get pregnant if she's still stay in the pen. Maybe yeah. that's why she's out of the pen. Yeah, she's like, you ain't getting me, sucker. Birth control. Coco said, I'm saving myself for marriage. <laughs> Base Camp Unbounded said, it looks like the goats are the ones talking. <laughs> oh, well, hello there. How are you? <laughs> we can actually make that happen. As soon as they look up and talk, be like, hey, you got any ketchup? Sharon Reyes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sharon Reyes, uh, you definitely do not have to be a homesteader to come to the meetup. The meetup is open to the general public, and uh, we would really love to meet you. That would be amazing. Chief says, the meetup's going to be a really good time. A lot of good grocers there. We're going to have hay, straw, might even have a little bit of minerals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's kind of fun in the goat pen doing a live. Right. Y'all don't have to see our ugly mugs. Y'all get to see some cuteness. Speaking of cuteness, hey, Icy. So Icy, so Icy. Amazing, come on. And DD5, thank you. Wow, how many eggs did you make any for breakfast yet? Yeah, I've got more eggs than I know what to do with right now. Oh, hey, look at this. You would think she learned her lesson. I actually brought that bag over here. <laughs> Today, I've got a video I'm going to do a short of, and it's about to happen again. She was walking around the yard with the goat, the bag stuck on her head, just walking around. And now it's about to happen again. Uh, that's hilarious. Look, oh, my God. Nope, she got out this time. Look at Chief. Chief's going over there to talk trash to her. Yeah. She was over there by the chicken coop. And uh, I look out across the field, and there she is just walking around with a, with a bag on her head. <laughs> David Moffat's been a member for 11 months. 11 months. Wow. I've, I've had members for that long already? That's Man. crazy. Hmm. Bahamas weather was so nice. Love the kids and can't wait to see the kids soon. Oh, Rhonda K. Hi, David, from the kids. What's going on, kids? Hey, did you get my email about the youth merch is made now? Youth merch is now available. Let the kids know I got it done for them. David Moffitt just gifted five memberships. Well, thank you very kindly there, Mr. Moffitt. Coco, are you going to come get in the party? Roy, Eva, Anona, Michelle, and Sheila Tubbs, all gifted memberships. Nice. Welcome. Coco. What are you doing, Coco? Hey, Virginia. Coco the Yard Goat. Oh, another thing, guys. I'm about to make the shirt of the month. Ooh. And it is the first one is going to be my biggest pain in the butt on the mountain. Coco, Coco the yard goat. Hey. Oh, curious Coco. Hey, Julie Hellman's been a member for 11 months. She's a supervisor. Is Icy smaller because she's picked on by Chanel? Um, She's really not smaller. Um, she's smaller than Chief because Chief's the buck. Um, Chanel just looks bigger right now because she just had babies um but she's about the same size as coco yeah she's about the same size she's as coco. a little bit thinner um i i would say that the goats do pick on her a little bit more yeah um eclipse is normally her uh her guardian guardian yeah uh ridge live twenty dollars thanks for working so hard on the welcome to ridge live party this weekend the groceries were on point jin jin had a blast Nice. Cool. Well, appreciate it. Yeah, man, that party was absolutely amazing. And I did. I worked my booyaka off. Yeah, Mike seen it 24 hours before the party and then seen it at the party and was like, whoa. Yeah. 
it was a round the clock deal and we did we had some good good groceries and uh we had four slabs of ribs bratwurst hot dogs 10 pounds of chicken wings uh baked beans macaroni and cheese and, potato salad and don't forget mel's uh sausage oh and some uh plant-based sausage <laughs> plant -based. for mel's and I proved to myself after I cooked that I can make anything taste good. Hey, come on. Hey, speaking of Mel, there's Simple Life Reclaimed Mel on? and Gary right there. What's up, guys? Mark Robinson, $10 super chat. Boom. Boom. Thanks, brother. Mark, I seen your comment asking if you were still blocked from my channel. I'm not sure. I'll have to get with Lisa on that. If you'll send us an email and remind me, I'll check it out. And uh, also, now that Simple Life Reclaims in here, I don't know if you've heard yet, but y'all will end up with the female. Uh, Country Road Cure has made their pick. Greg and Gina, hell, what's going on, guys? Now, I think some cool names would be Thunder and Storm because they was born in the rain storm. Oh, I like that. They but I like that. I don't know what they're going to name them. Um, that's just my suggestions. Oh, cool. Big Wave. Uh, our friend Big Wave from Florida said uh, their house just got on their property and uh, he wanted to know when you were coming to Florida. Well, I canceled my March trip because I just got way too much going on. Uh, you hear the coyotes? Yeah, the coyotes are starting to make some noises. They sound close. Man, they sound like they're right on your new property. Yeah. Uh, Janet Sarlo said, David, I have a question. What kind of generator that you have, the one uh, that that the computer's plugged in, if you can tell me, please. I think she's talking about the Blue Eddy. Oh, it's the Blue Eddy B300? The Blue Eddy AC300 with the B300 backup battery. You come out. Uh, I, I know that because I just did my, <laughs> yeah. mine today. <laughs> Fresh on the mind. I love seeing all the new emojis. And I'm not really mad at the backgrounds, uh, especially with like the cat and all the ones that's got the black because it wouldn't show up in the chat as good. So the back domino looking on point, though. Yeah, he is. Uh, I know. That's right, McKevin. Haven't heard Chanel since she started eating. Yeah. No, you won't hear Chanel whenever uh, she's eating. Oh, nice. Rhonda Craigle said, yes, I did. I ordered all the kiddos, theirs and other family members as well. Oh, nice. Well, I hope you love it. I hope they love it. Tell him I said, come out. No, Tim, the bread wasn't burnt. He said we also had burnt bread. Yep. And Roxanne made a homemade blueberry cobbler that was the fire. Fire, yeah. Las Vegas. Uh, let's see here. Come on, hold on. Haven't heard it. Oh, yep. David, Mike, I like to send you pictures of London where I live so you can see the view that I always see of the mountain. Well, send them, buddy. Man, that would be cool. But it seems not to have a lick. No lick. What? No lick? No lick? Not have a lick. No lick. <laughs> I don't know. When will the other females be ready to breed, said Karen Ball? Uh, they're ready now. Uh, typically, I think goats are about 10 or 11 months before they can actually get pregnant. And uh, they was a little over two months when they got here. And they've been here for a little over a year. So they're, they're a little <coughs> over a year old. Oh, that's cool. Simple Life for Claim said, how about thunder and lightning? There you go. We watched her make the cobbler at Come On Homestead. Nice. Hey, Bitty Boo Brown. Hey, Dana. She said, that's how my goats were. They waited until the storms to have babies. Simple Life Reclaim says, my kiddos are so excited that they get the little girl goat. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, though. I mean, I'm going to have to say good pick for Country Road Cure because that, that male, he's a little man. Right. He is an impressive buck, man. He, Chief even though he's hard-headed, is a very impressive dude. Yeah, you're impressive. Yep. And, yeah. Uh, oh, I missed I missed who it was, but they said that the coyotes probably smell the baby goats. Yeah. they. Uh, there's enough movement and stuff around here that, knock on wood, I, ha I haven't had a lot of issues yet. No issues yet with them. They kind of keep their distance. 
Crazy John said, I love my sweatshirt, David. It's so soft. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a lot of different uh, varieties, colors, and uh, qualities uh, with all the merch. Is that a pound? Yeah, I believe that's a pound. J Julie Hellman with the dollar ninety nine super Thank chat you. pound. Thank you so much. I told the kiddos they could name the first goat, so she might end up with a funky name like uh, How's Shrek Buster the Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Can y'all still see the babies? <clears throat> We're going to see how this works with this time of year going live at six in the goat pen. It's been get, it's staying lighter a little bit longer. So we'll see. Where does Coco sleep? Wherever she wants. Wherever she chooses. Um, sometimes she'll sleep on top of the hay. Sometimes she sleeps right by the pen with these guys. Sometimes she sleeps up underneath the rabbit hutch. Sometimes she goes in the temporary sheds back there and sleeps or up underneath <laughs> the canopy. You never really know what old Coco. Hey, but I'll say this, though. I haven't caught Coco off of the immediate yard. No, Coco hangs out. Coco's the yard goat. Coco stays in the area. Right now, Coco is enjoying keeping the grass cut. I did bring. There we go. Brought a flashlight to be able to light it up a little there bit. You go. I didn't bring my big one. I should have. If I brought my big one, we light up the whole side of the mountain. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Lumpy Burke dropping the come on emojis. Nice. My chat done froze. Oh, Lumpy Burke said we spring forward one hour at Sunday, 2 a.m. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I am ready. I like it to stay later or lighter later. Yep. Look, this means at 7.30 next week, that's what the time will be. We'll be yeah. able to hang out really next mm -hmm. week, all, and we'll have plenty of light. Yeah. Man, we'll be able to get so much more done. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, my body's already starting to adjust because I've been getting up before daylight for the last three weeks. Yeah, mine ain't moved at all. I'm going to have to close out and open back up. My chat done froze up on me. And she said, Coco's more behaved than Eclipse as far as staying in the yard. Coco's more behaved than any of the dogs on the mountain. Oh, yeah. Even Domino will venture off every now and oh, then. Oh, yeah. Every but, once in a while, Domino gets but, in trouble. But Coco, she ain't going nowhere. Now, nah, Coco hangs out like a hair in a biscuit, for real. All right, now we're moving in again. Brooke Burks, we are exactly the same way. Brooke said, our coyotes come right up to our fence I live on the backside of a cow pasture with my mountain view. Brooke, we see Lissa and I seen the coyotes, I would say like 50, 60 yards away from the house the other day, a whole pack of them, like 10 to 15. And one of them were so big, we thought it was like a great Dane. It was insane. Mm. <laughs> Did you see the little baby goat prancing in the background? Civil life, I just went through that last night. I had to transfer everything from my old phone to my new one because I had to warranty it out because I was having a troubles uh with the alerts and the speaker was blown ten dollars super chat uh dina starks thank you so much thank you very 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 much <laughs> uh let's see here yes david moffitt leave the time alone i agree um with this next one not the one yeah, that not, we're in right not now. Not right now. Yeah. Not the one we're in. Let's hit the next one and let's leave and it. And let it rock. I like Which that. Which they talk about it every year, but they never do it. Uh, Come on, Homestead and CRC, SLR, White Rock has new babies. Hint, hint. Mate for your new babies, maybe. Uh, They actually have uh, a different type of breed, I believe. I believe theirs are the miniature... Uh, Nubian miniature goats or something like that. Right. But uh, trust me, I've already been in contact with White Rock. Uh, they want Chanel, and uh, I would like to have a little bit more diversity as far as goats go. So uh, we might work out a trade. David, I'm calling it right now. I want first dibs on, <laughs> on a baby born off of yours and White Rock's goats. All right. Boom. I'll be ready by then with infrastructure. <laughs> Well, you already got your feet wet with putting up some fence. That's right. Yep. 
Well, as soon as Chanel's going to disappear because she's brown, but y'all be able to see Icy last. Uh, I'm looking at my I'm looking at my screen on my phone and it, and it looks to be a little bit brighter than what it's looking like off of our camera. So that looks good. Virginia Gambo, don't forget to put cardboard in the bunny nesting box. It's already done. Nice. Uh, West House says, how's your wrist? Uh, feels like it's going to fall off. Yeah. Um, I was going to actually start clearing the goat. Uh, line today and with my wrist hurting like it is and uh, kind of handling that big old chainsaw I decided not to and I was actually on my way to do it to get uh, the bar and chain oil from down there at the landing with Uber and I got to looking at Mike's driveway and well let's just say I worked on the driveway all day yeah. all day and uh, it whooped me <laughs> man it is a it's a whole lot better than it was it's not it's a different driveway yeah he can get pretty close to his camper now but that last part um it's let's just say it's got a serious base on it now i dumped over 50 loads of big rock just down there by their camper it i didn't even know there were that many rock piled up on the side of the road right there but it yep. that was wild yeah Mama Carolyn said, "How are the dogs doing? Uh, our dogs are doing okay. They um, they're healing up a little bit more and more. They're they're definitely got their personality back. Odin's back to talking a bunch of crap, and uh, and not growling at me. So that's a plus. It's magically delicious. <laughs> it is magic. It is. Uh, SLR said that uh, Hat Creek understood the assignment. Yeah. Uh, David." Uh, when are you going to post the tiny house videos? When? It's only been like a week and a half since I posted one. Oh. It ain't been that long. <laughs> um, I'm doing the best I can, guys. Uh, there's a whole lot already filmed, but uh, finding the time to get everything edited and to keep everything going at the same time work-wise, it's a lot. Uh, I'm actually going to be working on the bathroom video tonight. Uh, more than likely, it's not going to be out tomorrow to be Wednesday because I got to go to Oklahoma and drop the tractor off in the morning. Y'all seen the truck in the background uh, with Uber already loaded up on it. Uh, me and Gary from Simple Life for Claims going to the Mahindra dealer, dropping it off. And then we're going to Oklahoma to go see Big Mike and Biddy Boo to pick up some more stuff tomorrow. So if I'm not completely dead by the time i get home tomorrow night i will finish editing it tomorrow night if not get up wednesday morning edit it and get try to get it out wednesday and then after that uh will probably be the kitchen video okay uh the flash one dave what's your plan for your new expansion property how many acres have you got now if you don't mind if i ask how much did it cost and isn't it expensive in arkansas to own land uh, that's a good question. Actually, it's not too expensive in Arkansas. It's it's starting to be more expensive in Arkansas. I'll tell you that. Uh, the new property was 10.14 acres. Uh, I don't really want to say how much I spent on it. I don't really like to talk about my finances uh, with thousands and thousands of people. Um, I felt like I got a fair deal, and I felt like my neighbor got a fair deal. Um and total now i have 25.14 acres man 25.14 25.14 yes yeah brooke it's definitely tick season you said you just she sound she found a tick on her ear i've already pulled four off of me so far luckily i got a lot of that indian blood in me and that's one thing that i don't really have to deal with very much i rarely find a tick that's actually like locked down on me rarely i'm pretty fortunate with that it does happen but it's not as much as what most people get jermaine stevens saying hello to you guys from the caribbean island of saint kitts and nevis i catch your live every week Oh, well, thank you very much. Neil said uh, you will have less time to edit after this week. With the time change, you'll be spending more time outside. Trust me, brother, I already spend just as much time outside. I get up before daylight, and I typically work until late at night. Uh, most of the time, I work during the day, and I edit at night. 
And for the last three weeks, I've been working from about five something in the morning to about 11 or 12 o'clock at night. That's for real. That's legit, no exaggeration. That's no exaggeration. That's like legit hours. Uh, about five, five thirty, I would say by six o'clock, I've already drunk my coffee and working and I work until 11 p.m. to 12 every single night for the last three weeks that that's how so much stuff's gotten done in the last three weeks neil but you know it's it's you're you're right neil but at the same time it's a trade-off you just got to know what you want to do more neil said you will have less time to edit after this week with the time change but you'll be spending more time outside yeah so yeah well see like i said not really because I hook lights up, guys. Yeah, I work. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm outside more than I'm inside, no matter what. Um, and even whenever I don't hook the lights up, a lot of times I'm sitting outside looking at the stars and stuff and kind of hanging out there. I've been known to take my laptop out there in my zero gravity chair and be putting in work, answering emails and stuff while I'm looking at the stars. Man. <laughs> Simple life reclaim. Must be thinking of winter time change. Man, the time is flying. Yeah, it is, man. It is. Cully Texan said, that just means you don't have that sweet blood in you, David. Oh, no. Well, I, you know, I can be sweet. I can be <laughs> a little sour, too, though, if I need to be. Hey, there's our friend Pops hanging out with us. What's, What's up, going Pops? on, Pops? I can't believe it's already March. Definitely fly by this year. Absolutely, Atisha. When do we get to see the bathroom? I just answered that um probably wednesday and trust me it'll be worth the wait what do you think mike man it's gonna be amazing <laughs> um there's a couple of people in this chat that actually seen it in person um uh, i'll let them chime in on the chat of what they think about uh all the changes that has happened it's a uh, pretty drastic i will say that Dang, Anona Milton said she contact uh, contracted Lyme's disease from the tick. It took three weeks of medication. Oh wow! I'm so blessed, man. I can't believe I I figured I would have caught Lyme disease by now. I've I've pulled so many daggone ticks off of me. I've probably pulled a probably like a hundred ticks off of me in the last two years. Uh oh, uh oh. Auntie Anna said, you are doing great on the comments, David. Come nice. on, Homestead. Nice. Well, 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 look at here. You know, made my night, Auntie Ann. Hey. I'm trying. And I'm on my phone tonight. It's even harder on my phone. Ain't that right, Icy? <laughs> right. Icy said, here's my close-up. Yeah, the babies are all full. They got full bellies. They're over there just, one of them is. Oh, the male's just sitting there posted up. You know what, uh, Donald Thompson, I heard the same thing. He said Lyme disease never really goes away. Yeah, that's what I heard. Brenda Moody, congratulations on your baby goats, David. So glad you were not hurt, Mike. Maybe you don't get tick bites because you drink all that sipping cream. They just fall off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't drink as much as you would think. <laughs> yeah, not really. Yeah, I drink uh, with you guys on Monday night. That's really about the only time I drink. Unless we're having like a gathering, yeah, like yeah. like I people come on yeah, over, yeah, like e out. even the barbecue the other night or whatever. I had like two drinks, so I'm not really a big drinker. Um, I just enjoy having a drink with you guys on the live. It loosens me up a little bit and just allows me to just hang out like a hair in a biscuit. I'm not I'm not a very big drinker though. Hey, cuddly Texan said we need to have two of the goats look straight into the lens while chewing so it looks like they're talking with david and mike's commentary <laughs> yeah if they just would listen come on guys but i know they're you know goats are known to be hard-headed oh chief's just gonna lay down you just can you see that hanging oh. out Let yeah a little, a little bit i see he's covering him up a little bit look at chief chief just said it i'm oh, it's bedtime <laughs> Say the sun's gone. Bedtime. Bless you. Bless you. Chief's always laying around. Always laying around. Hey. Never doing what I want. What's going on, Linda <laughs> Oki? See? Icy was just talking to Chief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that time chain needs to hurry up because we got about 20 minutes left and it's getting dark. What? Uh, let's see here. 
when you first started building the pump house, I thought it would be so different after watching your Florida one. The tiny house now has turned into is crazy awesome. Well, thank you very much. Um, oh, Melva and Donnie said, I turned 67 today. My amazing husband made me such a wonderful dinner. Nice. What'd you eat? And happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you came. Happy, happy birthday from the Come On Gang. We're so excited, and we hope that you are, too. So happy, happy birthday from Chief and the crew. Come <laughs> out. Come out. <laughs> Chief looking regal right now, though. Yeah. Look at him. Come out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you just read that, or am I tripping? Uh, yeah, I just read okay. it. Uh, I can only see icy now. I got a flashlight on them. I'm, I'm doing my best, guys. I tried to come prepared. Yeah. Do you want me to go get my big light? I can light this thing up. Talk to him. Be like, hello. Talk to him for me. Oh. Well, we'll definitely be able to see when he gets back. That's for sure. He's going to go get the mega light. <laughs> Base cap unbounded. So goats are like boxer puppies. Hard headed. They are. They really are. Nancy Brown dropping some member emojis. Great live tonight. Love the goats. Babies are adorable. Be careful of your trip tomorrow. Dana said, uh, when Icy has a baby, she wants one. West House said, my neighbor has a goat you could put a saddle on. She's a big one. Dang. That's a huge goat. I know that's right, Donald Thompson. 20 years ago, we would never imagine we'd be hanging out on Como Mountain, talking live with two hillbillies next to a goat pen. Ha ha ha. That's hilarious. Petty Jean River Homestead, what's going on, Bobby? He said, I'm part Sue. I guess that's why I only have one tick. I'm part Cherokee Indian. I get eat up with the ticks. I guess I got that sweet blood. Hey, Neil said, uh, how much is the tractor repair uh, going to charge you to remove that Ridge Life sticker? Nope, he's already too far away to hear me. I'll ask him when he comes back, Neil. Ha, the dog catcher said this stream is GOAT, the greatest of all time. Pearly May's having fish for dinner tonight. What kind of fish, Pearly May? I only like certain types of fish. I don't like any kinds of fish. I only like white fish, uh... Stuff like Mahi Mahi or Grouper or a Cobia or something like that. Daka, uh, is any other goats pregnant? Not at this time that we know of. <laughs> Aaron said, Mike, watch out. David may have turned that electric fence on out of habit. That's all right. I'm sitting my behind in the chair, Aaron. Tim said that Ridge Life sticker is the only thing holding it together. Wait, no. SKW Lift said, I'm eating some shrimp tacos. Okay, I see you, girl. I forgot what Lissa said she's making down there. Something Alfredo. I think something with Alfredo. Wanda Henry said, it's so dark, can't see nothing. Yeah, he's on, I see him, he's on his way back right now with that big light. Oh, Pearly May's having catfish. I do not like catfish, but to each their own. Glenn and Sharon Salty Life said, Kobe are running now, kind of early. I love Kobe, that's some good fish. 
My mama Carolyn said, Mike, I have Cherokee from my grand's mom Smith's side. Cool. Oh, yeah, that light made a difference right there. You know that light's lighting up the world. Dang, we see everything now. Anona Milton said, Dreaming with Drifters, I've sent you some good news. Tampo. Yeah, the feral farm girl, it gets super dark out here. There are no lights out here. There's no light pollution. Unless you bring your own. I'm talking about zero light pollution. And I'm talking about 100% with that light. That changed the game. <laughs> All right, let's see. Icy said, I ain't scared of no light. Give me the groceries. Aaron said, what light's the big light? It's the, uh, it's just a bigger flashlight that get, gives off this amazing beam. It literally lights up the whole woods. Deborah, we haven't done any more work on the shelves yet. We, uh, our number one priority is getting the uh, dog run done, and that'll be finished this week for sure. We are catching up on some sponsorship videos over on Drifting Dreamers 5. And uh, once we get through there and Uncle David uh, gets back uh, from dropping Uber off, we're going to be working on finishing up the fence. Natural Witch says, how close are y'all to the eclipse in April? We're right in the path. Oh, yeah. We're not going to have to go anywhere. We are right slap in the middle of the path. It, it said you brought the light just in time to watch Icy take a pee. Yep. Goats are like, WTF. Dang mm -hmm. up. <laughs> They're like, what are you still doing in my pen? Pop said he's having a seafood cheese spread and crackers for dinner. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Look at you. Trying to get you a little bit of grocery. I just seen, does all the goats sleep in the shelter at night? Yes, they do. Uh, why are you licking my knee, Tyson? <laughs> Chief likes the camera. Yes, he does. Oh, Mos you mosquitoes, the are they out yet, said Dina Starks? No, not really. I've killed one mosquito, but I haven't really been bitten by any. The flies are, though. Hey, Icy. Chief, what are you over there doing? Being destructive? Yep. Yep. Let's see. We want to celebrate. Celebrate of life. Kathleen said, what's first, Mike? Shale or shells? Um, probably going to be getting some shale first. But we're going to be getting right onto that shouse here very quickly. I'm talking about this month, we'll be building some more into the shouse. West House said, want to see some eclipse? She's in the goat pen. Mama okay. Carolyn, I am 100% going to be filming the eclipse. Look, she's going to get stuck over there. Oh, man. He's rubbing them horns. Uh, giving your goats kisses, David. They are cute. You see the baby over there? Yeah, I should have known to bring this light, this one. Anyways, Chief, what you doing, dude? Donald Thompson, I haven't watched all the combines, but I have been watching like the highlight reel and stuff like that. I am a, uh, I am super excited for next year. There is, there is so much potential coming. Y'all need something. Right now, you gotta do push-ups all year. Yay. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Neil, the the driveway is not priority one until the dogs get finished. The dogs for us are priority one because we can walk half that driveway and still carry stuff with the gorilla cart. And I love that gorilla man, cart. That gorilla cart is <laughs> is is the best. I tool actually we have. have the gorilla cart up here right now, full of stuff. Sure do. I'm gonna be needing to get that back. So. <laughs> I needed this tonight. Really struggling at come on homestead. Big guy's wifey. Well, I'm glad we could help. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Chief boss. 
Oh, he's got him a set. There ain't no <laughs> doubt about that. Oh, excuse me. That was hilarious, Firefly. Uh, thumbs up all. Yes, thumbs up, everybody. All 619 of you. Chief is trying to remove those uh, small trees. Give the young ones uh, the tops. Oh, nice. Yeah, I see was copying Chief. Linda Oki said, y'all have cheered me up. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that we can help. Yeah, CJ Stroud is uh he's a he's a he's a stud, man. That dude right there is a stud, but I tell you what, I wouldn't get rid of Purdy for nothing. Julie says, it's been magic watching you with the goats. Aaron said, David, drive safe tomorrow. Lots of crazy people on the road. Yes, there is. There's going to be two more, me and Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I always drive safe, guys. I'm not a crazy driver by any means. Ann Windsor. Hi from Newfoundland, Canada. I enjoy your videos. Chief, why are you all up on my boot, man? Oh, there's a baby. Baby then joined us. Hey, what's up, baby? The babies are already starting to hop and jump around and play. Oh, look. <laughs> As I said that one, that one jumped uh, and rode up. One of them's underneath my chair right now. Mm -hmm. So what did y'all think about this live in the goat pen? Did y'all enjoy it? If you enjoyed it, uh, give a thumbs up in the in the thing. We'll do it more often, especially with the time changing. Up, Chief? Chief was just over here all up on my junk. Well, I, was, <laughs> I turned around and didn't see nothing but horns. <laughs> I got nervous. And why everybody want to do, like, do me like that? <laughs> see everybody talking? They want to see me do a push-up in the go Yeah, play. I know. I know. I, I'm going to save it, though. I'm going to save it. I don't know. We can do one. Let go on and give one. All right. right. I wanted go to go on give one. I had to even it up to 40. Oh, we're going we gonna to keep the knuckles closed so I ain't got to open my hands down on. Wait, on you don't want none of that goat poop? Don't you don't want closed. none of that goat poop? Is, is the back straight? You straight? Boom. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I love it. All right, so now we're at 40. 40. We're at 40. Goats are a little calmer than the dogs. Next yeah. time, put the camera on the goat. Yeah, right. That's funny. Nose to ground, Mike. Nose to ground, Auntie Ann says. Dang. <laughs> Back straight, but butt in air. Come on now. He you, didn't He didn't say Wes, my I'll say you here. rock, Mike. I appreciate it. <laughs> are the kids feeding from both sides yet? Yes. Trina? Um, I believe they are now. Um, like I said, me milking her for three days on that side definitely seemed to do the trick. I mean, look, you can see right now it's night and day difference. Yeah. Yeah, and she doesn't look swollen at all either. She looks no, nice. No, I, I think we got control of it. See, see the back right there. It's all the same. Yeah. I'm a. I, I've got a little bit of experience with uh, goats, guys. I had nine in Florida. I think I started out with uh, same thing four, and ended up having uh, five babies. Chief wanted to give y'all a kiss. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. Back away from the phone. Mama Carolyn, yes, it will be happening with the arm wrestling match between me and Mel. It will be filmed, and there will be an arm wrestling match between me and Gumby at Junk to Gems Homestead, and it will be filmed as well. I'm not exactly sure when it's happening, but it will be happening. Probably going to happen at the meetup. It, oh, at the meetup. Yes. Oh, that's serious. Uh, Oh man. Then we can place bets. Oh, that's going to be insane. You know what? That's a maybe, good idea. Maybe we'll do bets and then, you know, like I said, all the proceeds are going to go to a children's thing to get kids outdoors, uh, veterans, and uh, if we have enough that we would like to do something with the elderly community too right. around here. So uh, that might be a cool thing to be able to generate some money. 
Pearly May, I I gotta be honest with you, dear. I don't think I can do a one handed push up. <laughs> I guarantee you, I can't right now with my <laughs> right hand all jacked up. Ever, there's so many people talking about doing goat yoga, having me do goat yoga. <laughs> I think Gumby has the leverage on you with those long arms. He might. I guarantee you one thing, I'm not arm wrestling nobody with my elbow the way it is right now. But if it wasn't messed up, let me tell you. Boy, I can put, put them down now. Hey. I put them down in the day. Dreaming of Drifters, Big D says he wants to arm wrestle you. <laughs> no way. That guy, hey, listen, Big D would grab me and probably sling me across the yard. I'm good. <laughs> Come on, Holmston. I believe that was 39. He was at 40 last week. No, he's at 41 last week. You know what, Anuna? I'm going to have to get on uh, and check it out, too. I believe I am. I believe that was uh, 39. I'm going to check the live out. Well, too. I mean, if we, I can go back and those ones that wouldn't count with your back arched like the. I mean, if, I mean, just because you fans of uh san francisco doesn't mean you gotta <laughs> do push-ups like the golden gate <laughs> you, know? I mean, ooh, you see what i did there i mean you did, I, did, I, did. <laughs> I mean you didn't call them at the time so i mean th them things are cashed out <laughs> see well said i loved watching the goats it's definitely better than looking at our mugs the whole time i would think Oh, Icy and Chief seems to be the star. Auntie Ann said, don't forget, everybody, Robertson Bellyacres goes live at 7 o'clock tonight. So when yep, you yep. guys leave here, don't forget to head on over there and see Rusty and Rachel. I actually got a message from old Rusty today. Yep. Yeah, 40 was in the driveway mud. Let's see here. Nothing wrong with David's belly. Looks great the way that he is. Okay, yeah, Joel Durbin, 40 might have been in the driveway mud. Yeah. Uh, David still needs to catch <laughs> Mike in the mud. Yeah, he kind of cheated in the mud last time. He he was. Uh, I mean, I, I was uh, in the mud. Yeah, he was in it, but he, he got the highs. He was smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready to see Mel slam Mike. Oh, Carrie Allen. Gotta go, y'all. See y'all later. Peace. Good night, Pearly May. See ya. Do y'all want to say anything? How about you, Chanel? You've been a good mama, by the way. Chief, why are you, why are you with your bug eyes? You over there bugging eyes out. <laughs> Quit bugging out, Chief. <laughs> what is the bet with Mel? Uh, I don't think we, we've actually bet anything between me and her. We're not betting anything. We're just, the only reason me and Mel are arm wrestling is just to show you guys that I can really beat her. <laughs> Chief has to be the center of attention. Yeah, Chief likes the old camera. I might strap a GoPro to Chief one day. The Adventures of Chief. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a cool, a cool little. Uh, I am thinking about doing a little series of shorts with uh, the Adventures of Coco the Yard Goat. After I seen her with that bag on her head today, I, <laughs> I came up with that. I was just like, I might have to make a series out of you. Uh, Julie Halman dropping the member emojis. The spread is mail by ten. <laughs> Thanks. I'm plus 10. Chief, are you giving him a kiss? Bye. Give, uh -huh. Everybody give Chief a kiss. We got one minute left. Everybody give Chief a kiss. Chief. Oh. <laughs> Chief literally went right between our chairs. Mama V, what's up? Possum Run Homestead. Hello. Jack Lush from hitting the emojis. Everybody hitting the emojis. Nubbin hitting her emojis. Uh, hello, David and Mike. Babies are so cute. Got our merch from Come On from the bonfire today. The shirts are nice, nice colors and comfortable. Love them. I got two. My hubby got one, and my mom got one. Have a great. Oh, well, that is amazing. Well, thank you very, very much. I'm glad you like them. There will be some more designs coming out. I'm just trying to get the general logo and all that stuff going right now and uh, i was trying to get a ladies division a youth and a male which i got now 
So next step is uh, going to be the uh, shirt of the month, which will be Coco the Yard Goat, to start starting it out. And then uh, we'll go from there. But it is 7 o'clock, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, live. It was definitely a different one, uh, you know, giving a little bit of cuteness. And uh, we'll do it again. It seems like everybody liked it. I love it. And until we see each other again, guys, come on. Let's go on another adventure. Go Niners. <laughs>